My name is Christopher Pittman Smith. I am a future indie filmmaker and lover of all things creative. In this video, I'm going to be discussing St. Louis slang. Each city or part of the country has their own lingo, their own style, and this is just my interpretation of it. Now, a couple of things to consider. For one, I was born in 1971, so I grew up in the 70s and 80s, so maybe some of the information is outdated. Uh, the uh, pronunciations may be a little bit different. Uh, and I've been out of country and heard terms and phrases used a little bit of everywhere, so it's not just regulated to St. Louis. Now, uh, before I start, I'd like to send a shout out to my good friend Eric Nels, uh, Eric Nels Home Inspection and Custom Builds. Uh, if you're looking to buy a home and need it inspected or you're looking for a custom build, uh, whether it's furniture or even one of the role playing game tables, uh, look him up. His number's right here. Second, Queen City Cinema Club uh, has been an inspiration and I wrote. Uh, they're a family-oriented place where you can, uh, for basically the price of concessions, you can rent out a small movie theater, play their different game systems, or the games they have in-house. The third place that I would like to send a shout-out to is STL Styles, because you can't spell style without STL. Their contact information is right here. And without further ado... St. Louis slang. First word, er. Uh, not every. <laughs> if you go to certain parts of the country, it's everyone or everything. And St. Louis is everybody, er thing. Next phrase, one of the more popular ones, her. It's not hair, it's her. Going to the store, buy some her for my weed. Buy some her weed. The ones that had severe nappy heads had can't you comb it on Can't you comb it? Don't you try? Just ask your auntie about that. This particular one, everybody knows somebody named Pumpkin. Everybody has a little cousin, uh, auntie's daughter, somebody named Pumpkin. It's not pumpkin, it's pumpkin. I've seen this phrase uh, used in someone else's, uh, but it uh, represents St. Louis, then a mug. What's that short for? Basically, then a motherfucker. It's uh, an adjective. Uh, she finer than a mug. This food good than a mug. It's cold in the mug, it's hot in the mug, water deep in the mug, then a mug. Next set of terms are, well, you'll get the gist of it. Both of them, few of them, some of them, all of them. Basically, all those are versions of them. Both of them, some of them, a few of them, all of them. But in St. Louis, sometimes we just run words together, so that's how we do it. All of them. Next word, finna or fenta, based off of who you heard it from. Finna, Fenta means I'm getting ready to. I'm finna. Finna go to the store. Finna hit up a friend at the mall. Finna drive to work. Finna or Fenta. Next word, or next phrase, excuse me, another further. That means somebody step to you, don't move another further. Don't come any closer. Another further. Another word, and if you've heard Tina Turner's version of Proud Mary, you've heard her use this term because Tina Turner spent time in St. Louis. But next one, one more again. Basically means again, but one more again. Next word, based off of where you go to, may sound racist, but if you grew up in St. Louis, you didn't go to the Chinese restaurant, you went to the Chinaman doesn't mean the person Chinaman 
Chinaman is the food itself. And by the way, any place I've been, St. Louis has the best Chinese food, bar none. I don't know what's going on in these other places that don't know how to season or add things. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Chinaman, St. Louis thing. In other parts of the country, it's known as a sneaker. But in St. Louis, it's a tennis shoe. So I spent a lot of time in Maine, and the first time I went shoe shopping, I went looking for a tennis shoe. And the person actually thought that I played tennis. No, tennis shoe is a sneaker. Doesn't have to, you don't have to play tennis in it. It's a basketball shoe, it's the uh, shell toes, it's the uh, Air Force Ones. One of the most famous tennis shoes in St. Louis, the Dope Man Nikes. Dope Man Nikes were the original Nike Cortez. I always wanted a pair, but for some reason, $50 seemed like a lot of money growing up. Now in retrospect, maybe not so much. Next word, pocketbook. See, St. Louis women don't carry a purse. They carry a pocketbook. Next word we're going to use, drank. Some people go to the store to purchase a cold drink. St. Louis, we finna go to the store and get something to drink. That's how we do it. So, pronunciation a little bit different, but drank actually means drink. And speaking of drink, or drank, next phrase is a drank, bumpy face. Now, if your uncle seen the story about some bumpy face, he means this, some secrets. The next word, drove. Now, I just recently watched a video and drove has a different meaning from when I grew up. Right now, I guess the current meaning is drove meaning crazy. And you say, man, she drove, man, she crazy. Growing up, uh, the way we use it, like, man, you got drove meaning that uh, somebody roasted you, somebody just started going off and you just couldn't recover from it. So that's the meaning of drove for us. Now, where do we use around St. Louis for roasting somebody or going off? It's joning. So, if you start joning on somebody so hard they can't recover, that's how they get drove. See how those correlate? Purgatory. That's being stuck on 270. Uh, during uh, during rush hour traffic, so you weren't going nowhere. In a lot of major cities, they have that uh, particular highway that you're stuck in that moving. That was 270, and that's what we call purgatory. The county, the county of suburbs. I don't think I ever heard the term suburbs used. It was you either lived in a city or you went out to the county. This is a term everyone uses. Specifically, uh, southern and midwestern draws. You don't wear underwear, you wear draws. Next term, you good. And I mean, it has, it's one of those things that a plethora meaning. You good, meaning you alright? You good, need some money? You good, ain't no beef between us. So it has uh, multiple meanings, and I'll put a link right here with all the meaning of you good growing up and again this may be uh, more of a southern thing but we had play cousins you know they weren't necessarily related to you but you were close enough you called them your play cousins meaning basically y'all moms were close so y'all were play cousins I didn't have any cause <laughs> my mother didn't have many friends with kids but I was around people that had play cousins so I get to live uh, vicariously through them. Suit, meaning you stuck on yourself or psyched out. I uh, think that uh, Bobby Brown had a song he was talk, uh, talking about, I'm not, was it that? It was either him or Troop, but it was called I'm Not Suit, Stole. So I guess the origins of that is when you hit somebody so hard, you literally steal their soul from them steal their soul from them so steal soul stole if you heard anybody use this term you know they were being serious about what they're saying they said on oh, my mama 
They said, oh, my grandma. That means that whatever they're saying, they're sure that they are correct in it. Man, I put that on my mama. They put it on their mama. You know they right. Growing up in the 70s, one of the uh, terms that we always use was, I'm hip. I concur means the same thing. So I agree with you. I'm hip. Or big hip means that I really agree with you. Everybody ends up uh, using this in some size, shape, or form. But you hear me, you heard, you understand. Based off where you were, that's what it means. You hear me? One of my favorite ones, cheering. Didn't have kids, had a bunch of cheering. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or additions to it, uh, correct me when I was wrong. Thank you for viewing, and I hope to see you again.